guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> i've missed you guys so so much you guys cannot even imagine this has been the busiest most stressful longest one month of my life like guys i just finished my theory exams today and if you know me so well you know the next thing i do after a long week a long month a stressful period is to get my hair done so yeah how do you guys see my hair i just got my hair done today and i then have my brows and i look like the baby girl that i am <laughs> so guys how have you guys been? I've been good though my week, my month has been stressful. I've been through a lot. I've lost a lot of weight and all of that, but that's by the way. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for God's mercy and strength. I did not foresee this period. God has been with me. God has been strengthening me. God has been providing. God has been with me literally. Look, all I can say at this point is that God is faithful. We are not done with our exams yet, so we are done with the theory aspects. It's many the oral aspects as the viva, but I'm hopeful, I'm praying, I'm believing God, I'm trusting God that it's going to be a success. And you guys can't even imagine God has been good to me. Like, unlike me, I don't work under pressure, I don't know how to work with stress. Like, I'm literally that person that any kind of stress will tell on. Whenever I'm stressed, you will not even need somebody to tell you that I'm stressed. And I easily break down. But these past weeks, I don't even know where I've gotten my strength from. But I can't even say God has been good. You guys, there is nothing that you should do in this life without God. God is the ultimate. Like, one way God is majority. Sometimes when I sit in my room, I will just be wondering, how did I get this far? It's not over yet, but how did I even get this far? I was thinking by now, maybe I will have broken down, I'll be taking medications, I'll be like something like that, but nothing. Like I can't even feel the stress. I know I've, I've gone through a lot of stress this month, but honestly, I can't even feel it. Do you like, you know when you know you're stressed and then your body is telling... I, ask, I can't even feel nothing. Hi, Hapo. Let me use Ibu. Hapo. Kineka Makapano. Let's not even lie. I'm not going to lie to Ibu on this app. So, yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I pray I've come back with good news for you all. I love you. See you guys after. Bye. I'm here to run a few errands for my mom. You guys. This Nigeria is becoming something else because tell me why I booked my flight some months back for this trip only for them to come and say um the flight whatever whatever has increased like it's not twice the initial amount and it's either we pay the new amount for flights or they'll give us 70 percent refund like guy this i don't even know say and i was so angry because it's been a long time i traveled like it's been a long time i went to such a far distance as if that wasn't enough our car had the audacity to break down on the road um, our car just broke down on my... hi guys um, and we are in Onicha Enugu Ezike. Have you? And our car just broke down. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm hearing that the journey is still very far. Like, it's been long. I am back on this kind of long journey. I'm also hoping that they fix this car soon and we'll leave here because this is already past one and huh i don't even know so i'm already like this journey has been going away so far okay okay can they break you quite down we'll be here for more than 30 minutes already so i also be get sorted out see i'm already sweating 
so yeah keep you guys posted bye we were there for another five hours we left enugu around to seven and i was so tired i couldn't continue my vlog so yeah you could just manage me how i am guys so i just got to abuja my uncle's place this past two is 252 and i'm so tired I have to be up by 5, 5.30 tomorrow. I had my Viva exam in few days, so I had to rush back. When I, when I was done with what I was doing, I stopped by at this bookshop to get some books at the park. Then I got something to eat because I was waiting for the other um, bus that would take me straight to Abba. So yeah. I will be a Romeo, you I got back to school, finished my exams, and I ran to them away because my body needed all the rest I could get. And you guys, I had the best one week plus or two weeks of my life this period. I rested. I did not vlog or do anything. I just recorded some the, some clips of the food I ate. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you in my next vlog. I love you. Bye.